happening. In Democracy 2010 tonight, our one-on-one -on -one with Terry Goddard. A couple of weeks ago, we had a chance to sit down with Governor Brewer for a wide-ranging interview, and today we talked with her Democratic challenger about Arizona's economy, Senate Bill 1070, and just how close the race really is. On the economy, Goddard says he'll cut taxes and red tape for small businesses in order to create jobs, but he'll make up for it by closing sales tax loopholes. What he won't do is try to compete with other states through massive tax incentives. Are you saying that your economic plan is really pro-business when, when other states are doing the kinds of things that you oppose? I don't ever, ever plan to try to compete with the giveaway. If you bring in new business because you think it's going to produce additional revenue for the state and for the economy, and then you give away all the, the expected benefit in order to attract the business, that's a zero-sum game that doesn't make sense. Goddard hasn't said much about cutting the budget, even though the state is facing another massive deficit next year. But he's not happy about where cuts have been made, particularly to education. They've been dumb. They've been absolutely dumb. I mean, you, but is there any area of the budget that you would actually cut? I'm sure there are, there are areas that we could look at that need to be uh, reduced or skinny down. He went on to say he wants to cut perks to the governor's office and the legislative administration, relatively small budget items. As for SB 1070... And you've already opposed it, so why not say, let's just repeal it? Why not say, if I'm governor, I'm going to work my darndest to repeal the law? Until we know from a court of final jurisdiction, that would be the Supreme Court of the United States, what their ruling is about it, uh, I don't think there's any more action for the state to take, either pro or con. Goddard shrugs off poll numbers that show Brewer with a 20-point lead, even after her performance in that infamous debate. Uh, it's the same poll that said that McCain and Hayworth were neck and neck, and it never was true. Uh, so, come on, let, let's, let's sit back uh, and, and talk about exactly where we stand. And, and I believe it's turning into a very close race. And just as we have with Governor Brewer's interview, we posted extended clips of our sit-down on ABC15.com.